you have too. It is time to play Slice of Seven, where musicians change songs to be about news stories from the last seven days. And this week, a big round of applause, please, for our super group from the Crescendo Trust of Aotearoa. <laughs> yes. The... Uh, the Crescendo Trust of Aotearoa, they're one of our MediaWorks partners and they do valuable work supporting young people through mentorship and the creative arts. Thank you, Supergroup. Mm. Um, might I suggest you maybe need a name? Have you thought of maybe a name for your group? Uh, chocolate with a hint of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Two, you can start now, and you've got Daniel and JP singing this one for you. Take it away. What news story are they singing about? Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Can you smell that stink, my friend? Yeah. Has it got you feeling queasy? To look after his garden With a big old dump Of compost on his land Never thought it would smile like that again hey! So the kids next door They got quite frightened When they smiled the air It wasn't right And the school was bugging The students all suffered Thanks to the smile of man To the self-assault Don't open your mouth, my friend yeah. Try not to breathe easily Open your mouth, my friend. The stink will get you. The stink will make you ill. Uh, I heard at the end that something is going to make you ill. Yeah. The smell is going to make it, you ill. Oh, garden. Gardening, compost. Can't breathe in when you garden. You've got to garden with a mask, you know. Cause really? You, well, I mean, I do. I agree. This is about microplasmosis, which yeah. is um, a lot of cat poo that's in gardens and compost, and kids are getting their um, fingers on it, and you can never actually recover from it. You keep it for life. Uh, I'm going to give you the points there, because you oh. need some. Uh, <laughs> No, the story was uh, more than 100 students and teachers were put through a fire and emergency-led decontamination process after children began feeling nauseous at two wired up schools last week. Uh -oh. The cause turned out to be a mushroom compost heap nearby. Mm. Uh, normally when students feel nauseous at a wired up school, it's called morning sickness. <laughs> Carterton. Carterton, yes. Oh, that's Carterton. not even a place. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it is. Isn't oh, the Carterton oh, yeah. compost one of the hardest moves in the wider rapper Kama Sutra? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I love the story because immediately they were like, I think it could be terrorism. Yes. They did. And <laughs> I was like, okay, look, if ISIS is hitting a Carterton school, I reckon we're winning that war. <laughs> I like it. We've taken over Raqqa in Syria. Where next? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It was, it was a, a property backing onto the school, and the, the, the owner of the property was a dad, at, a parent of a student at the school. Mm. Like, you think it's embarrassing, like, <laughs> getting dropped off by your parents and them kissing you out front. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go, oh, my dad's stench made us all <laughs> <laughs> Initially, they thought it was a plane flying over, didn't they? They saw a plane flying over, dropping yes, something. Yes, that's right. They thought and, it was and that. And Jetstar said they're not going to fly that route anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just people in Carter and just the whole plane yeah. flying over is an event in itself. Yeah. The, um, oh. <laughs> it's in I don't know a lot about Carterton, but I assume like when they say that two schools shut down, it means that only like a dozen people were inconvenienced. <laughs> I'm impressed there are two schools. Yeah. Is that I'm to keep the cousins apart? <laughs> <laughs> Team one, yes. you are up. You've got okay. to tell us. Um, I think we're using Keegan and Daniel for the song. Right. Tell us what Keegan and Daniel are singing about here. Take it away. Two, three, four. He's done with his missing round and he's driving now with all down off at sea. And do you really want to bet against the tiger chasing victory?
this was a pretty big story this week. I'm a, yes. I'm a, I'm a, uh, a white dude from Devonport, so legally I have to play golf. Because there was, um, there was. So I know, I know what this is. This is this. There was tea in there. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. There was tiger. Tiger. Was the, was, the hint was tiger. Was, yeah, really, ti yeah. So this is about the zoo. Yes. No, I've got, no, got to step in here. Okay, Becky's stepping in. Okay. Scott, it's about Tiger Woods. Oh. Yeah, tiger Woods. I Jesus. <laughs> and he's made a big return to golf. Yes. Which is cool. Amazing. <laughs> and he's got a job at the zoo. That's how so, I yeah. <laughs> Always bringing it back to the zoo. Don't need yep. the zoo, Paul. Uh, ah. Becky's right. On Monday, a gallery of thousands followed Tiger Woods as he claimed victory on the Golf Tour Championship in Atlanta. Confounding critics who said he would never win again. It's mm. his 80th PGA victory in his 22-year career. Quite remarkable. Mm. Imagine being in that gallery, you know, uh, following someone really famous around, cheering every stroke. You know, sort of like Prince Charles does with the Queen. <laughs> This is an amazing comeback after back oh, surgeries amazing. and a lot yep. of controversy, of course. Well, he, he and I actually have a lot in common. He's, How? I mean, just the way you look. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, he is an amazing golfer. He's a millionaire. He's had hundreds of sexual partners. And I own a Nike shirt. <laughs> But the thing is, because I think it's quite interesting, because, you know, there was all the contro controversy or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Um, but that was, like, in a pre-Harvey Weinstein world. Like, True. I remember, like, everyone was like, oh, he cheated on his wife, and his wife bashed him with a golf club, and everyone was like, slay queen. And then <laughs> after, like, after Harvey Weinstein, everyone's like, oh, he had consensual sex with women? What a hero. <laughs> so a charismatic guy who couldn't keep his dick in his pants has mm. made a comeback. So, you know, there's hope for Len Brown yet. <laughs> Is that Kiwi still involved with him? Who was his caddy? Steve, Steve Williams. Williams. Steve yeah, Williams. Steve Williams. No. Steve Williams, of course, won New Zealand Sports Person of the Year <laughs> for being the guy who carried the bags of the guy who did the sport. <laughs> but he was so good at it. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he dropped it once. No. Oh, you could give him any bag, oh. eh? Any bag, didn't matter what bag, and he'd carry it. No problem. Yeah. But don't, no, I don't, it's like, I'm it's not like, a golfer, but don't, doesn't the caddy tell you which club to use? And they shit? do it. They're a lot of good advice. They go like, oh, you're on the green, use the putter. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiger did Thank God you're here. I wonder if Steve Williams was with him when he was having all his affairs going, use your cock. <laughs> good one. Yeah. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is slice 7 for scores. Uh, team 1, you can have the number of back surgeries Tiger Woods had prior to his win this week, 4. Wow. Ooh. And he did his back in, of course, shagging. Yeah. Uh, team 2, you can have the age of tennis star Andy Murray. He's 31, so you get 31 Ooh. points. He's in the news for dropping that ceremonial plate. Did you see that commemorative yeah. plate they gave him in China? Dropped it immediately oh. onto the pavement, smashing it into a million pieces. Oh. Great He smashed China in China. He smashed China in China. Oh, no. Boom, extra points for you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Not enough, though. You get four. They get 31. Yeah. Team two wins. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much to the Crescendo oh, Trust oh, yeah. Supergroup. Give them a round of applause. to cto.co.nz or find them on Facebook. Give them some money. It is a great organisation. All right, we're going to nip backstage and smell some mushroom compost. We'll be right back with history. Woo!